Hello everyone, and welcome back to Stein's Gate. In the last episode, we did some more searching of Suzuha's dad, and we actually found a lead on the pin situation, or so we thought. It was actually Daru trying to make a, uh, a, a what, a copy of Suzuha's dad's pin to give to Suzuha. <laughs> so, we're back. The next day, as night falls, I summon all lab mems except Karisu to Rod Icon. Except Karisu? It's boiling hot on the rooftop, even in the evening. When I provide Daru with the refreshing gift of cola, his sweaty face lightens up. Mine would too! Whoa, Okarin! A nice cold zero calorie cola! How thoughtful of you! Of course! Here you go, Daru. Daru happily takes the cola and chugs it straight from the bottle. Afterwards, Daru and Suzuha start discussing the time machine. Mayuri and I watch from a short distance away. Again? Hey, Okarin! Isn't it amazing that the satellite was a time machine? That, did I click the right save? Did I click the red save? I did. I thought that I accidentally loaded the wrong save, but this is the right save. <laughs> this is just, uh, kind of repeating what happened last time, but, you know, we're in a new timeline now, so... Yeah, I guess so. I'm glad Suzu-san wasn't hurt in the crash. Me too. I heard it's a really hard drive. Mm -hmm. If the gravitational whatchamacallit coordinates are just a teensy bit off, the whole time machine becomes a jelly man and goes ploop! Yep, you said this last time. And she even said her time machine's unstable, since it's not a CERN model. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about her trip to 1975. Do you think I should go with her? I wonder if I'd fit. What would you do in 1975? I'll cheer Suzu-san on, of course. I'll hold her hand super tight and tell her everything's going to be okay. Yeah, you said this last timeline, too. Oh. Hey, Yokarin! Do you think the time machine has a name? What's he gonna say? If you want to know, just ask Teeter. Oh, it's the exact same. Oh yeah! My Yushi didn't think of that! <laughs> oh man. Why would Okarin say something different? Mayuri giggles, then runs off to talk to Suzuha. She returns a few seconds later. Yep! It has a name! FG204 something something, she said. Anyway, don't you think Daru-kun and Suzu-san are a good match? It's the exact same. I look at Daru and Suzuha again. Daru's all about Ferris. Oh, really? Tilts her head to the side. A am I reading new stuff or is this is this old stuff? I'm so confused. It's the exact same. Hey, my Yushi, uh, can my Yushi take a closer look at the time machine? I nod and Mayuri runs over to the time machine again. You keep saying again. Behind her, the sun glows dark and orange on the horizon. As Mayuri leaves, Suzuha comes over to stand beside me. Our shadows are long and murky in the fading light. Here's our heart-to-heart -heart with Suzuha again. Ashida Itaru is amazing! He said if things go well, he could have the time machine fixed by tomorrow. Ooh. And he looks so unhealthy and slow. That's so mean! Uh-oh. A refreshing breeze blows by. 
It was quite hot a few minutes ago, but the temperature's finally starting to drop. Um, hey. There's something I want to say, but I feel like I'll never get another chance. Uh-oh. Are you listening? After a moment's hesitation, I give a little nod. Okay, okay, so this is new. This is new. He's reacting different. I'm really grateful to you. All of you. When I came to this time, I didn't know anyone. I was all alone in a world completely different from my own. I'm afraid Okrin's gonna start screaming incoherently. This era is so peaceful. That's a wonderful thing. And it scared me. All I knew was the fight against CERN. But now I have friends. Real friends. Who I can share my secrets with. All these people who lived before I was born are working so hard for my sake. It's a strange feeling. But a happy one, too. I wanted you to know that. I've heard these words before. Just like the last time, her tone is wistful. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. A time machine can only leap to the past. Oh. The truth I heard from Daru plays in my head in an endless refrain. Living with you guys in this time, it's been really fun. When I met you, you were all so strange and unique and over the top. I was kind of shocked at first, actually. But before I knew it, I started to enjoy spending time with you. 2036 is beautiful, too. People don't even fight anymore. Did you know that? Oh, she said peaceful, peaceful, not beautiful, peaceful. <laughs> Uh-oh. I shake my head. You're lying! You knew that! Anyway, people don't fight ever about anything. All forms of conflict, war included, have vanished. Poof! Without a trace. Instead, everyone has dead eyes. Like fish. No one has ambition. Nobody dreams. They just trudge through their lives without a single complaint. Oh sure, people smile. But they never get angry or sad. There's no individuality. Everyone's a robot. You got really mad at me before, remember? I was really surprised, but at the same time, I was really happy. Uh-oh. Suzuha looks at the time machine. Daru and Mayuri are standing next to it, talking cheerfully about something or another. You're all so bright and full of life. I envy you. Gina Mayuri, Hashida Itaru, even Makiza Karisu. And, of course, you! Uh-oh. I want to be more like you. It's thanks to all of you that I'm still going strong. Being a lab mem, even for just a little while, was great. She smiles, then a soft, sad smile that tears at my heart. This time, I know what that smile means. Oh boy. Being with you guys, even for just a little while, was great. Suzuha obviously knew from the beginning that if she traveled to 1975, she could never return. Change the future, Okabe Rentaro. Make it a world like this one, where people can be free. First time I heard her speak these words, I thought she was sentimental because she couldn't return to her original 2036. I was wrong. Forget about 2036. She can't even return here to 2010. 
Not without living 35 years. She'll be 54 when 20, 2010 comes around. Holy crap. The present us and the present Suzuha can never meet again. You can meet her when she's 54. <laughs> Suzuha chose this mission. Change the future. To save my Yuri. Unless Suzuha travels to 1975, my Yuri will die. But then, what about Suzuha herself? When she leaves for 1975, she'll have to sacrifice everything she has here. How does she feel about that? Why don't you ask her? Do you... Even though Daru was supposed to keep it a secret, but... Hmm? Do you regret spending time with us? Oh no. What do you mean? Do you regret making new friends here? New memories? Do you wish you had kept your distance? You've already abandoned one life. Now you have to abandon another. Uh-oh. In a sense, it's like you're killing yourself. Did Hashida Itaru tell you? Suzuha frowns. He's worried about you. Jeez! I told him not to tell anybody! Well, how do you feel about going to 1975? Oh man. It doesn't matter how I feel. Suzuha's expression suddenly hardens. I have to go. It's the path I chose, and it's what my dad wanted. What if we ask you to stay? <gasps> to stay? I'll go anyway. One of those guys on At Channel asked what right I have to change the future and decide the fate of the human race. He had a point. But still, I don't want the future to turn out like that. I want the people in my time to be free like you. Free to laugh and play, fight and argue, get sad and cry. If I change the future, then no one will die. Not you, not Shina Mayuri, not my dad. Maybe I don't have the right, but I'm going anyway. Even if you can never return. Aw, oh, come on! The 70s aren't a bad time, you know? I'll find friends there just like you guys. We'll have a blast! <laughs> just like that, Suzuha is back to her usual self. But despite her cheerful smile, I'm certain that her resolve was forged from fear and doubt and the likes the likes of which few can imagine. I was a fool to think that my words could sway her. Oh man. Oh, the sky! Beneath the clear blue sky, the time machine comes to life! Daru's repairs are complete. Mayuri and I helped drain the last of the water out of the cockpit. Oh boy. The machine is still stuck in Rod Icon's wall, but that's a small matter. But, but we'll never see Suzuha again. Daru gazes at the final time machine with a satisfied expression. Mayuri is jumping for joy, and Karisu, who ran over as soon as she completed the time leap machine, is visibly relieved. Meanwhile, Suzuha is struggling to attach her mountain bike to the time machine's exterior. She likes it so much she wants to bring it with her in 1975. <laughs> Carissa was worried that it might cause a time paradox. <laughs> yeah, it might! My heart is still heavy, oh no. Did I let Suzuha leave like this? I chide myself for the thought. It's not my choice to make. Suzuha isn't from this time. If she doesn't want to stay, then I have no reason to keep her from leaving. Suzuha finishes securing her bicycle and turns to us with a soft smile. Oh no, it's not the painful forced smile I saw yesterday. 
We don't perform a startup test. Activating the time machine would draw too much attention. Oh, we better hope it works then. So we're just going to wing it. Fortunately, we have the time leap machine for insurance. My only regret is that we couldn't find her father. Oh, Suzu, ah! Thanks, guys. Really? I can't thank you enough. Suzu, ah, no! Don't forget about us! If you want to thank me, then let's make out! Shut up, Taru! Control yourself, perv. I agree! The lab mems pat Suzuha on the shoulder and offer words of encouragement, each in his or her own way. Oh, Okabe, what do you say? Alright! Take this! Take, take this. <gasps> Suzuha offers me her father's bed! What? Oshima 7010 in the end. We couldn't decipher the inscription. This is for you, Okabe Rintaro. Keep it in the lab, will you? Somewhere out of sight is fine. Suzuha. Is she regretting her decision to leave? Is this pin meant to be proof that Amane Suzuha was here with us in this time? Um, about the pin! Oh, Daru's gonna do it. Daru hesitates for a moment, then steps forward. Oh, he's gonna do it. Why don't we make duplicates for all the lab mems? Make it our symbol, I guess. Oh, okay, no, that wasn't what I was expecting. That's sweet. Oh. Wow, that's a great idea. Oh, man. How unusually thoughtful of you. Uh, I... I don't know what to say. We already took a picture of it, so keep your pin, Amaneshi. It belonged to your dad, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, keep it. Uh-oh. I stay silent. There's nothing I could say. There's so much you could say! I could stop Suzuha from leaving if I tried. But unless she goes, I can't save Mayuri. Well, that's true. Or as far as you know right now, maybe there's another way! I... Okay, everyone! Da 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 da! Mayushi has an important announcement to make! Important announcement? Mayuri suddenly raises her hands and calls for attention. As usual, she completely fails to sense the gravity of the situation. Though I suppose it's our fault for not telling her the truth about Suzuha's time machine. In any case, she has my attention. What could her announcement be? I don't know. Could Mayuri have found out that she's fated to die? I don't think she'd be that happy if she found that out. I quickly glance at Karisu, but she seems just as confused as I am. What is it? Actually, Mayushi found Suzu-san's dad! What?! Really?! Huh? What?! Really?! What?! Mayuri puffs out her chest proudly! Wanna meet him? You do, don't ya? Well, he's here with us today. <gasps> really? Where? Everyone, including me, starts looking around. Mayuri has us hook, line, and sinker. I scan the empty event hall, but there's no one else here. Where could he be? Allow me to introduce you. Suzu-san's dad is... <laughs> is that a drum roll? Ta-da! Suzu-san's dad is... Who? Mayuri flashes Suzuha a grin. 
Daru kun! What? I, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it was Daru! Wait, how does she know that? How does she know that? She thrusts her finger at Daru! <gasps> Our mouths drop! How did I know that? <laughs> After awkward silence comes awkward laughter! You don't believe her? That joke's not even logical. It's impossible for this perv to get married in the first place. Hey! That kind of hurts! I completely agree with Christina. Daru is fated to become a wizard when he turns 30. I feel like it's Daru. I feel like my Yuri's saying the truth. You can be nicer about it, guys! That's the truth, so I can't object. Oh no, Daru! No, Daru! Daru falls to his hands and knees, devastated. As for Suzuha herself, she clearly doesn't know how to react. Well, if he knew Okarin, and Karisu, and Mayuri, and if he knows how to build the time machine, which Daru knew how to fix the time machine, then, even though he didn't build it, he, he took it from CERN, right? He kind of, he kind of, uh, uh, modified it. So Daru knows how to do that, so it makes sense. Um, you know, my dad wasn't fat. Suzuha, stop body shaming. Jeez, you're all so mean to Daru-kun. Mayushi's the only one to stand up for me. You're an angel, Mayushi. Do you love me? <laughs> I I think she's just being nice. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> Harsh. Um, Mayushi's 100 million percent sure that Daru-kun is Suzuha's dad. See, me too. Me too, Mayuri. I'm glad somebody's on the same page as me. Okay, what's your proof? Um, I was thinking about the letters on Suzu-san's pin. Uh-huh. After staring at it really hard, I noticed the 7 and 710 looked a little weird. Okay. It's not a 7, it's a 2! The line fell off the bottom. Oh, okay, it's a 2. Really? So that says 2010. Suzuha stares at the inscription on the pin again. It's so small I can't tell. It's easy to see on the picture we took. 2010? But that's this year. Yeah, so it's Daru's. Then what do the letters mean? Oshima 7010. That's what's inscribed on the pin. That's easy. Okabe, Shina, Hashida, Makize, and finally, Amane. <gasps> Whoa! And then the three lab mems would be uh, Lukako, Moika, and Ferris, right? What? It was right in front of us all along. We just didn't know where to look. I just had the feeling in my bones that Daru was her dad. It's our initials? So I was thinking, why 2010? And then I remembered, it's the year of the lab mems. The year of the lab mems? Yes, the year you all came together. The future gadget laboratory was founded this year. So that's what it is. Yeah, you just met your dad! <laughs> you met your dad in the flesh. And you know, Suzu-san has a lot of stories about future Okarin and future Christian, but not a single story about Daru-kun, right? See, that's what, what I was thinking. They weren't any about my Yushi either. Oh no, don't, don't say that. Daru's observation startles me. It's an obvious thing to wonder about, but strikes too close to home. 
Well, my Yushi's a lab mem, but I can't make time machines and I don't like fighting. Of course I'm not famous! <laughs> oh, my Yuri. <laughs> no, the reason there aren't any stories about my Yuri is because she dies in a few hours. Only Karisu, Suzuha, and I know that, and we say nothing. But Darukun's a super hacker, and Okarin's right arm. He even helped Okarin make phone wave chan. So I thought it was strange Suzu-san didn't know him. Mm-hmm. So you're saying he used a different name? Beryl Teeter-san helped Okarin fo found the resistance, right? Uh-huh. And he was in Akiba in 2010. Uh-huh. And he was able to build his own time machine. And he knew about Okarin's reading spaghetti. <laughs> reading Steiner. He knew about it. Doesn't that fit Darukun perfectly? See, that's what I was thinking. She's right. You remember the day Suzu-san went to meet her father? She thought he would be at the time machine offline meet. Uh-huh. We know that because we tailed her. Darukun was supposed to be there too, right? True. That meet was seriously important to the history of Japanese sci-fi. At least I got to sneak in while tailing him on, Ishi. Don't remember that. It must have happened because of the D-mail I sent. Oh wait, I thought that did happen. Okay, I guess it didn't. This is the curse of reading Steiner. Although I keep my memories from previous world lines, I don't acquire memories of events on new world lines. Dad told me about that meet when I was little, so I don't remember what he said exactly. I thought I might be able to meet him there. Look at that. Look at look at the size. The size differences. Daru's so tall. <laughs> so, if I'd been at the meet, everything would've been okay? Mm, I don't know. I don't think I'd have picked you out as my dad. She seems not as excited that Daru's her dad. <laughs> Still, the evidence keeps piling up. Well, I think with this, I'm gonna end this episode here with rejoicing over how my theory seems to be correct. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to, you can like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want, and stay tuned for the next episode of Steins Gate. <laughs> Bye!